We're back in the car today. We're heading back out to Les's again because Les has got a, a little part for my brake system I want to grab. But uh, while we're out there, he's going to be good enough to let us take a drive in the Daewoo. That's the black car that I had a look at in episode one. It's a uh, 15 battery, 12 volt lead acid conversion. It's running an eight inch uh, advanced DC motor. So the motor's a little smaller than mine. Uh, it's using different batteries than mine, but approximately the mm, same sort of voltage, maybe a little higher. Here we are. Welcome to Thunderbolt. Watch this, coming from a friend of mine. French kiss, this is so insane. Take steps, never know you cross the line. Dive in when you don't need sight and check it out. Don't be afraid to check it out. Don't be afraid to check it out. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Do yourself a favor. Let me walk you through the bits in the car. Well, the battery pack in this car is lead acid batteries. Uh, in the EV Capri, I'm using a whole bunch of Thunder Sky Lithiums. They're lighter, they give double the power, but they're double or three times the price. So this one is all lead acid batteries. You've got four of them along the front here. You've got another box of batteries in the car. You'll recognize these things. The brake vacuum booster pump. Pretty yellow thing, very inspiring. And we've got the Custom-made battery charger that Les and John have designed and built themselves. Got the Curtis controller. And you know, it's not me showing everyone how to build them, it's you showing me showing everyone how to build them. Yeah. You've been out there? <laughs> Make sure it's all cool. I always give it a charge before it's going to go out, just tops them up, tops it up, eh? Cool. And um, so she's ready to go, mate. Pretty easy? Yeah, pretty easy. Even I could have done that. Could have, yeah. How many k's do you reckon it'll do just normal driving out here? It'll do between 60 and 70. Jeez, on lead acid, that's all right. Yeah, well, it's a big lead acid, so 185 amp hour. It's, a, it's only on 120, though. If you could put another few leads in it and get it to 144, you'd probably get 100 k's. Hmm. All right, there you are. Go for it. Let's do it. I'm behind the wheel of a real EV. Ever heard of an electric car start? Neither have I. Have a listen. That noise, by the way, the car started. That noise is the brake, was the brake vacuum pump filling up that little uh, cylinder with vacuum. Hear this sound? Nothing. That's the sound of an electric car running. As soon as I put my foot on the pedal, it'll go. That's it. Let's go. He's very trusting. Well, this is the first drive of the first electric car I've driven. It's, um, we're doing 60 k's an hour. Um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, the indicators are on the other side compared to my car. It's, um, which way should we go? Let's go this way, around the block. Said left, yeah. Okay. Now, everyone's asking how you change gears in these things. Let's find out. There you go, it's my first gear change in an EV. From second to third. Now we're in third. That wasn't hard, there's no clutch. All you gotta do is take your foot off the pedal, back it off, chuck it in the gear. You can, you can hear the tires on the road, the stuff you normally wouldn't hear. We're doing 80 now. You wanna see how fast this thing will go? Yeah. We're in fourth, it's a five speed. Okay, we're doing 90 now. So, uh, lead acid powered electric vehicle. You know what's weird? I'm used to, when driving a manual, of letting, uh, using the engine to slow down the car when you go around corners, you know? So if you're going around corner and fourth and you're hammering it a bit, you might want to you know, pull it down to three and let the natural engine braking in a petrol motor slow the car down. But um, I kind of feel, and I've only been in the car, you know, 
60 seconds, I kind of feel that's not going to work in this car. It's um, because there is no engine braking. Uh, because, you know, the... Well, I guess what's freaking me out is I can't hear the engine. But, um... I've got to tell you, a clutchless manual, you got nothing to be worried about. I'm not having any problems whatsoever. And, uh... Hey, let's uh, do a little stop-start um, test, shall we? See how much it takes for this thing to um, get off the mark. Okay. Let's open the window so we get a bit of an impression of the speed too. Hear that sound? Here's a dog. The car's running. Brake vacuum pump, just top, topping up that little brake reservoir. I'm going to put a big reservoir on mine so it doesn't have to go every couple of minutes. My foot's on the brake though, which is why it's needing vacuum. If I take my foot off the brake, then it's not going to need to do that. Let's take off, okay? So I'll wait till we got a, a bit of clear road. You ready? Let's go. Third now. It's weird changing gears with no clutch, I'll tell you that. This is a car that produces zero emissions. We're doing 80 clicks. Um, I'll do a U-turn up here, we'll do that again. And I'll uh, I'll put it well, I'll put a little timer in post-production on it. <laughs> wow, you can go too fast in this car. And uh, this is using the heavy old lead acid batteries. So let's put a timer down here. On your mark, get set. We'll time it up to 80, all right? Here we go. Go. 40. 60. 70. 80. There we go. 80 k's an hour. I better stay on the 80. I don't want to go too fast on this back road. I think this electric conversion for this car suits anyone who would buy this car anyway. It, uh, it doesn't feel like the car's dramatically underpowered, but it's, it's just strange not hearing the engine. That's what's, that's what's weird. And it's strange not having engine braking to go around the corners. But then, you know, I'm a boy. And when we're in manual cars, we like to push it. Oh, it's great. It doesn't make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna slow down for the cops. So uh, <laughs> we, did, we just passed the cop, and I think I was going a bit fast. Oh, no Imagine worries. getting booked in an electric car. Yeah, you, I wonder if you could take that to court and say, "But, but, Your Honour, I was in an electric car. I couldn't have been doing 90 in a 60 zone. Couldn't possibly happen. And you'd probably get off. Ha <laughs> ha! More fool them. You know what? It's not as unusual as I thought it'd be. I mean, it's just like driving a, just like driving another car but with no sound and no clutch when you're changing gears. You know what, more than it being electric, the strange thing is not having a clutch when you're changing gears. So uh, that'll probably put a few people's minds at rest. I, uh, I was expecting to have to modify my driving uh, style and gear changing style quite dramatically, but that really isn't the case. No exhaust pipe, no sound, 
No emissions. No problem. Oh, let's not take it back yet. Let's just go up this road. <laughs> See you, Les. So we're running 150, 160 volts at the moment. I can't believe it's driving like this and it's not... It's just running on batteries. Why wouldn't anyone do this? I mean, we're out in the country at the moment where you need lots of Ks and you need high speed. This car has no problem keeping up with the speed and getting up to speed. There, I can, I can say first-hand experience now, I would have no qualms recommending this car, or you know, even with this um, cheaper battery conversion, to someone who is uh, you know, living in the city, because it goes plenty fast enough, it goes plenty uh, quick enough off the mark, you know, so um, yeah, I really have no problems. Shall we uh, get a squealy happening? Mm, eating the grass, eating the... What? Holy crap! Oh, nom, nom, nom.